What's happening everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday. Pretty crazy sports weekend, I will say. We had a lot of football, we had a lot of baseball, some teams are going home that shouldn't be, and my Niners lost. Anyway, we're gonna talk a little bit more about some stuff in a minute, but what are we gonna rip today? Because that's why you watch my channel, you watch my channel, see me rip open things. Well, I hit a restock. Yeah, I got there a little late, but I hit a restock. And I was able to pick up some fat packs of Donner's football. I know, we just ripped open Friday, uh, a couple blasters, but we got four fat packs of Donner's football. We are going to open these up and we're going to see what exactly is inside the fat packs for this season. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Monday, and we are ripping open some fatties, some fat packs, some value packs of 2021 Donruss football. Justin Herbert's on here, 30 cards per pack. That's right, 30? 30 of them. We're, I picked up a handful of these at the restock at Walmart the other day, and I missed out on some select and Donruss hangers, but by the time I showed up, these were still around. So you know what, I grab a handful of them, Thought they'd be fun to rip for the channel, and by the way, they'd just be fun to rip for me, so I kind of have to think of myself. But the reason we're actually opening these is because I'm still, I think I'm on day 26 or 27 of waiting for my Topps Chrome uh, light boxes to show up from Topps.com. Um, I actually had to put in, finally put in a, uh, a request to do something. Pretty much I'm going to file a claim because they're not here yet. I ordered them the same day I did the pro debut. The pro debut showed up two weeks ago. In fact, you saw the rip. If you didn't, it's a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's when I should have got it. So it's not here yet. And Tops, you are just messing up big time. And then I ordered the archives boxes. I got those coming on the way. The Bowman Chrome boxes, those are coming on the way, uh, coming on their way. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I've been hitting the Target.com restocks. I missed just in the nick of time on like the Megas. Still do okay. But anyway, we're ripping these open. And you know, we'll see what else happens this week. Hopefully I get the, uh, the light boxes soon enough. Anyway, but one of the big wins, yeah, I know. By the way, these were about $7.50 a pack. $7.50 or $7.97, some stupid Walmart price. So just heads up, if you see them out and about, eh, hopefully they're cheaper, but that's kind of what Walmart is right now. I picked up this, I know, 200 count of these. Pretty much, you know, you throw your cards in, throw it into grading, this is what they're, but they're, they're top loaders, but they're plastic, but yeah. But I picked up a 200 count of this bad boy. These are, this is finding gold, if you know what I mean. Finding, uh, you know, some friggin' gold. And if that wasn't the only thing I picked up, graded card sleeves, $5.99, 100 of these. I don't need 100 of them right now, but I do need them for some of the, uh, like the BGS and some of the off-brand uh, uh, graded cards I picked up for like dirt cheap. So hey, got this. And you can't go wrong with another 500 count of some penny sleeves. So anyway, just thought I'd share. That's what I picked up and a blaster of uh, Star Wars uh, battle uh, battle plans, which I'll open up on a Wednesday, you know, down the road. Anyway, I've talked a lot. Are you ready to open some football? Well, good. We are going to, no, we're not. That like button, subscribe button, notification bell. That's right. Oh, leave a comment while you're at it. Leave a comment. Have you been have, have you been actually lucky enough to hit restocks? Uh, I've been lucky do I, that I do have some friends out here in Los Angeles who do keep me abreast of what's going on, abreast, abreast of what's going on. If a store's hit or a store might be hitting or what the vendor, I mean, I'm thankful for them, seriously, because at least I got a little, I got a fighting chance because I can't wait. I can't wait at the stores that, you know, all day, you know, I got a lot of things going on. Anyway, so we're, we're gonna rip these open and leave a comment. Do you have that luck? Do you have friends out there? Do you just have to hope and pray and cross your fingers that you walk into something? I know, trust me, it's like that for me a lot of the time too. Um, yeah, so do all that, follow me on those little fun things right there. I know, we'll do that and we'll connect back and forth. Yeah, so, oh, and uh, we're gonna open these. But first of all, let's talk, I wanna talk real quick about uh, sports. Uh, crazy weekend. Uh, my Niners lost, by the way. Again, I know we're two and two, and you shouldn't lose a home home game to the you know conference rival. But hey, at least we got a good showing out of Trey Lance, so we see what the future might hold there. So that's a, that's always a plus, even though the game wasn't. Um, Broncos, not Broncos, but the Patriots and the Buccaneers. That's what I was going to say. The Buccaneers. That was an. Uh, I wouldn't say Brady won that game for him, but. He definitely he had he he was working his you know his mind melt crap on Belichick there so 
uh, it kind of it, it was just a weird uh, you know clink in the you know clink in the field goal at the end but it was a good weekend of sports good weekend of sports the Blue Jays ah kudos to you guys to getting as far as you did to in my honest opinion I'm a Red Sox fan and I'm glad to see the Red Sox in there but I would have loved to see the Jays in there because the Yankees oh god but then again, you're probably saying the same thing about the Dodgers and the Red Sox. So, yeah, I know. Um, Mariners, they shouldn't have even been in there. They have, were the worst team in the playoff hunt. And it's not a knock on them. I think they're going to be a great team in the future. But they need to shore up some things there. Um, their offense is not bad. It's their pitching. Their pitching is woeful. Um, they got some good young talent. But I think if they go out there and pick up, pick themselves up an ace in the offseason, um, Look out for the Mariners. I will say look out for the Mariners. They're going to be tough. Um, but yeah, uh, Dodgers making it. Dodgers and Giants. Uh, Dodgers, Giants. Uh, Dodgers and Cardinals on, I think, Wednesday's the game. Yeah, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I still think the Tampa, even if they, even though they don't have fans, Tampa is going to be one of the toughest teams to beat. And I think Milwaukee, pitching and defense just does it. And they got timely bats. They didn't this weekend because the Dodgers had to, they had to win. Um, to stay to stay in shape and thanks to the Padres for you know, just crap in the bed intentionally letting the Giants win Where the Angels at least uh, Competed against the Mariners and made them fight to try to get into the playoffs. So Yeah, anyway enough about sports. We're gonna rip open some sports football. Are we ready? We're just gonna go the hits We're just going the hits. We're going overhead for most of it. But we're going the hits to you All right, we got 30 cards here of Donruss Four exclusive press proof blue parallels per pack. Again, I think it was 748, 797, something like that. Some crazy Walmart pricing. And uh, that's what they are. Uh, again, missed out on the hangers, but fat packs is what it's gonna be. Are you ready to rip this? Good. Ripping packs Monday, three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Kid reporter. All right, we got Charles Woods in the Hall of Famer for the Raiders. Khalil Mack going into the hit pile. Jalen Mills for the Eagles. Marcus Peters for the Ravens, cornerback for them. Daniel Hunter for the Vikings. Chris Godwin, wide receiver for the Buccaneers. Henry Ruggs, I throw Ruggs into the hit pile. Second year stud players, uh, even though it's not their rookie, you know, even though they may not be a, down the road, I still throw them in the hit because you never know down the road. You just never know. It's like Hall of Famers. Yeah. Uh, Chris Carson for the Seahawks on my fantasy team did crappy. And then let's flip it around. We got Robbie Anderson for the Panthers. Leonard Floyd for the Rams. Russell Gage, the number two receiver four on the depth chart for the Falcons. Joey Bosa, I throw him in the hit pile because he's damn good. AJ Green now with the Cardinals. Jonathan Taylor, another hit pile extraordinaire. Ryan Kerrigan, but let's go to the back. We'll flip. We got we got a lot of stuff here. Okay, we got we just got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of cards coming up. So Ryan Kerrigan for the Washington football team. We have some flippers. We'll flip them around here. I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Okay, we've got ourselves Derek Henry with the image variation with no mask. Michael Gallup for the Cowboys. Patty Mahomes with no mask. I'll show you him. Finally, I'll show a card. Patty Mahomes, no mask. And then uh, Jamison Crowder for the Jets, who had a decent game the other day. John Elway, another maskless picture for the Broncos. This is the image variation. Keelan Cole for the Jets. ODB, another mask variation for the Browns. I don't know. He didn't even wear a mask half the season last year anyway. Mac Jones, rated rookie, he had a solid game last night. I will say right now, of all the quarterbacks, I like my, I like my boy Trey. But Mac Jones is quietly putting together a decent season. Is he Herbert? No. But is he a game, uh, a game manager? Yes, he is, and he's doing a good job at it. Mac Jones, going to the rookie pile. Uh, Gary Brightwell for the Giants, rated rookie, going into the, well, of all things, the rookie pile. Uh, Elijah Moore uh, for the Jets. He's a, he didn't do anything yesterday, I don't think, but he's definitely still a guy I'm looking forward to. He's going to be a top five rookie wide receiver, at least how I see it. Then we have our blue press parallels, press, press, uh, press, press proof of uh, Jamal Adams for the Seahawks. Going into a parallel pile, insert pile. Then we have AJ Green. So we're not doing too hot on these press proofs right now 
for the Cardinals, then of the Bengals, as we all know him from. Then we have another press proof of Corey Davis for the Jets, former Titan. And our last press proof I saw briefly is going to be Kylan Hill for the Packers. Uh, running back, they love him so much, they didn't even bother photoshopping him. Yeah, but you're going to go into the rookie pile. And then our last two, well, last card is Kyle Pitts with the portrait. Kyle Pitts, that's a nice little hit right there. Kyle Pitts with the portrait rated a rookie. And he's, he's a good one. He had a decent game yesterday um, just to finally, you know, get some blood pump in there. All right, pack number two of the fat pack of Donruss. Just good old Donruss. Flagship tops, if you will. I rambled about it on Friday when I opened the blasters, but guys, let, let's make sure this is available for normal, for just normal collectors, because this is flagship. This is not worth $500 a hobby box. It's worth maybe $125 if that. Blasters should be what they are. You shouldn't be overpaying for them. So just, this is a flagship type series. Let the collectors collect it and be able to get it. Let's go, pack number two. Okay, we've got ourselves a shiny coming up. Jerry Judy, who I throw him in the hits right now because second year, um, but out for, I think, for about the next four or five more weeks, but he'll hopefully come back healthy. Then uh, Brandon Graham for the Eagles. Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I throw him in the, I, he's, he's a buddy of mine's uh, uh, wife. She's a big Browns fan, so I throw him into that pile. Yeah, why not? Uh, Tiki Barber for the Giants going into the Vets. Tremaine Edmonds for the Bills. Nelson Aguilar now with the Patriots. Patrick Queen, yeah, he's a good one for the Ravens, but he's defensive, so the only defensive player from last year I put into the hit pile is Chase Young. Uh, Jared Goff, uh, now with the Lions. Jameis Winston, yeah, he was okay yesterday. T. Higgins didn't play last week. Dan Marino goes into the Vet pile. Jeremy Chin going into the pile to give away to uh, certain viewers. Uh, Robert Woods for the Rams, then Jeff Akuda, and then we have our parallels and stuff. Jeff Akuda for the Falcons. All right, we'll flip our parallels here. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Okay, we got Jonathan Taylor with the uh, mask, Liss, the uh, helmets off variation. Then uh, Darnell uh, Savage Jr. Been pulling him a ton lately. Same thing with Josh Jacobs Jr. A ton of them. Not Jr. Yes. Just good old Josh Jacobs. There is no junior. DJ Chark, who is now out for the year. Alvin Kamara with another one of the maskless variations. Miles Jack for the Jags. Joe Namath for the Jets. I pulled like three of him on Friday. So welcome to the pile here. Image variation pile, that is. Ezekiel Elliott going into the hits. Our first rated rookie is Penny Sewell for the Lions. Uh, University of Oregon, uh, number one pick, I want to say seventh to the Lions. Just outstanding offensive lineman. And then uh, uh, Kene Nwagu running back for the Vikings. I assume he's like third or fourth string because it's Dalvin Cook or uh, uh, what's but Alexander Matson. That's pretty much it. Then we have Noah Gray for the Chiefs, tight end rated rookie. Just pulled him on Friday as well. And that looks like it's it for the rated rookies. Only three. Max Crosby for the Raiders with the press proof parallel. Next press proof is going to be Jonathan Taylor. So, okay, cool. At least it's a, not a hit, but it's a hit in my eyes. So there you go. Jonathan Taylor, press proof. Peyton Manning with a press proof. Oh, and nice. This is actually a nice little pack here. Peyton Manning, press proof with uh, the maskless variation. So that's going to be a nice little hit right there. And then the last one is Justin Fields with the press proof. And it's got a little bit of white. Eh, eh, a little bit of white fraying on there, but that's not a bad rated rookie to pull right now. Justin, uh, oh, nice card on the back too. I just saw our last card. Um, he's gonna be, he, he had a decent game for the Bears. Um, just gonna continue letting him develop, but that's a nice little rated rookie hit right there. Uh, yeah, and then Chuba Hubbard, or Chuba Hubbard, now, right now, the starting running back for the Panthers, now that uh, Christian uh, McCaffrey always gets injured. But out of the rookies, look at that little, Smack that little shiny right there. That's Chubba Hubbard going into well, the insert pile. Nah, throw it, screw it, throw him in the rookie pile. Two packs left of Donruss. Fat pack. Let's go. Rookie packs. Pack number three. Monday. Let's go. Another cute reporter. 
Yeah. Okay. Devin Singletary for the Bills. Jacoby Myers for the Patriots. J.K. Dobbins, he's out for the year, and I like the guy. Stephon Diggs for the Bills. Hunter Henry now with the Patriots. Ndamukong Sue for the Buccaneers. Adam Thielen for the Vikings. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. Austin Eckler, good, good uh, running back for the Chargers. Curtis Samuel for the Washington Redskins. Well, football club. Not Redskins anymore. Peyton Manning, I'll throw you just because time-wise. Uh, he's going to go to the hip pile, but it's Peyton Manning. And if you notice, here is the maskless variation. So yeah, that's kind of what they've been doing this year. So yeah, Peyton Manning going into the vet pile. T Tyler, Taylor Heineke for the Redskins. They're Redskins. Washington football team. Come on, Greg. Let's be PC here. Uh, Deshaun Watson, speaking of PC. I throw him in the hip pile, but man, he ain't going to play anymore. Mike Vrabel. Okay, uh, is he the only guy, uh, the only coach who gets a card? Because I pulled him out of select, too, last year. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe because he's the next player. Adrian Peterson for the Lions, and then we have our back cards. Adrian Peterson, we got DJ Chark, but I'll turn everything around here, and let's see what we get. We've got ourselves Travis Kelsey for the Chiefs. I throw him in the hits. Aaron Donald, the uh, mask this variation, Aaron Donald, Ladaria Sneed for the Chiefs, Jonathan Taylor again for the Colts, maskless. Uh, <laughs> pulling a lot of dupes. But then again, it's Donners. Darnell Savage. Well, I don't even. Want, why am I showing you Darnell Savage? Josh Jacobs. I'll show you again, just because I'm going to put the little thing underneath there. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, because it's the same thing I keep posting. Josh Jacobs, DJ Chark. And where rated rookies are going to be. Alika, uh, Alicia Vera Tucker for the Jets. I think he finally did his job because the Jets won a game. Yeah, they won a game against the Titans. And guess what? I started the Titans defense thinking the Titans would smoke the Jets. That's right. Bad fantasy football manager. Bad. Jacob Harris, wide receiver for the Rams. No clue what his deal is. Uh, I live in L.A., but I don't really track the Rams because they're in the same division as this team right here. Yeah. Uh, and then Tyson Campbell for the Jaguars. Our Raider rookie. It looks like the last Raider rookie because then we're going to get. Oh, we got a backwards card coming up. Ooh, we got something cool. Maybe. I don't know. We got Debo. Nice going in the PC pile. It's our, like our first PC hit uh, for the 49ers with the press proof. We haven't pulled any Niners today. This is the first one. Crazy, isn't it? I know. Debo. And then we have Johnny Hecker, who honestly, I love Johnny Hecker. Punter going into the. Uh, through the uh, parallel insert pile, but I like Johnny Hecker. I think he's a solid punter. And let's see, well, let's just get to it. Tyreek Hill with mask variation of uh, the press proof. And our NAS card is a rated rookie of Daryl Diami Brown for Washington with the rated rookie press proof card. And then our last card is going to be a uh, Derek Henry with uh, power formulas. Got a little shimmery to it, but Der it's very, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of shine. But Derrick Henry, who, yeah, he did all right yesterday. Yeah, he did all right. I mean, he's a solid running back. There's no knocking that. And the Titans, that's just, that's, if they succeed, they succeed through him. Yeah, Derrick Henry for the Titans going into the insert parallel pile. We got one pack left of Donruss. Fat pack, value pack. 30 cards. Let's go, ribbon packs. Last pack mojo. Ribbon packs, let's go. Okay. Okay, we got a shiny at the end here, so we'll see what that is. Debo going into the PC pile. Uh, Oliver Vernon for the Browns. Fletcher Cox for the Eagles. Kareem Hunt for the Browns. Miles Sanders for the Eagles. Andy Dalton, not playing, for the Bears. Darius Slayton for the Giants. Joe Mixon for the Bengals. Miles Gaskin running back for the Dolphins with a little thing on it. DJ Moore for the Panthers. Cam Akers, I threw him in. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to throw him in the hip pile because... It's not his fault he got injured, and I think he ended strong. Uh, Hayden Hurst for the Falcons. Keenan Allen for the Chargers. J.J. Watt, and then we've got our, our special cards. 
Let's go, JJ Watt. Okay, our first is Jamison Crowder. We'll see our guys here. We'll flip them around. Not looking, looking, looking. Kareem Hunt is gonna, I mean, Alvin Kamara for the maskless variation. Miles Jack for the Jaguars. Joe Namath, again, so I think it's my 12th Joe Namath base I pulled. So, if you like Joe Namath, let me know. Ezekiel Elliott, again. Derrick Henry, again, with the mask variation. Uh, Michael Gallup for the Cowboys. Patrick Mahomes again. So at least I'm getting some star names. On the blaster box, I pulled like three Herbert uh, of these. So they're not really rare. It's just an image variation that they're really just kind of pumping out there. And then Jamison Crowder. So then we have our rated rookies of Kyle Pitts for the Falcons. You heard me talk about him briefly, but he's a pretty much if you don't follow football and I He's a tight end who plays like a wide receiver. So if you remember old Jimmy Graham back in the day, it's like that. Yeah, he's a good one. And he, he just give us some time here. Uh, Khalil Herbert running back for the Bears. Do not know anything about him, sorry. Uh, Dwayne Eskridge, wide receiver for the Seahawks, the third round pick, but I think he was the Seahawks like first pick period they had last year. Uh, wide receiver, he misplayed uh, preseason. Justin Jefferson, press proof, going into the hits because I like Justin Jefferson. He's going to be a, he's going to be legit. I mean, he already is legit, but he's going to continue being legit. But nice little hit right there. Our next press proof is going to be Brian Burns going into the common parallel insert pile. Brian Burns. Solid player, but come on. He's a defensive player. Yeah, Brian Burns. And then we'll go there. We got Adaris Roma for the uh, Adrian Amos. Why the hell did I come up with that? Uh, for the Packers with the press proof. And our last card, not last, our last press proof is going to be uh, Kylan Granson, tight end for the Colts. That's our last press proof rated rookie. And then we did get another rated rookie of uh, Terrence Marshall Jr. Not rated rookie, but the rookies insert. So, not awful. Not awful. Um, it's a fat pack. What do you expect? You know, you're not expecting, I mean, you'd like autographs, you'd like numbered cards, you'd like some pretty big hits. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna say the big hits we got today. Okay, we're gonna go through our pile here. Um, Terrence Marshall, maybe. I mean, we'll see how he continues to develop. Um, getting the Kyle Pitts base. We just saw a second ago, but the Kyle Pitts base. I would say that would be one hit. Um, you all know the hit that I'm going with. There's actually, yeah, there's the Chuba Hubbard for the Panthers, uh, the running back there. But the Justin Fields press proof, that's our, that's our hit today. It realistically is our hit. Um, you got a Mac Jones base. We got the Kyle Pitt. Port Pitts portrait, so that's a nice little one as well. But what's funny is you notice he's in his uh, he's in his uh, Florida Gators gear still. So I don't know why they didn't fix that. Um, but yeah, then our Mac Jones was our first rated rookie we pulled today. So I mean, overall we did pretty well. It's it's what you would expect from a fat pack rip. So yeah, I mean we got what three, four rated rookies per. We got four of the press proofs. We got one insert and a bunch of grip of base. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Ripping Packs on this, uh, this enthusiastic Monday episode. I know. Um, hopefully I'll have the Top Chrome Light Hobby Boxes on for Wednesday. If not, I mean, maybe I'll rip the Star Wars battle plans for a What the F episode. I just would like to be able to finally get it, but we'll see. Maybe I'm gonna be getting it for free and then it'll show up, I don't know. Anyway, thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. Do yourself a solid. That subscribe button, you might as well push it. Yeah. And the like button. You could do a solid there. You could, uh, you know, hit that notification bell. I don't care if you do or not, but then you can leave a comment. And you can leave a comment as in, you know, hey, there's some, you know, if you're a fan of Joe Namath, let me know. Trust me, let me know, I got a ton. If you're a fan of any of these guys outside of maybe some of the rookies um, or like, the Mah I mean, even the Mahomes, I'm, I'm cool with, you know, I got like th like four of them now. You know, we can do a trade. I got plenty of that stuff. But anyway, if you're a fan of uh, some of these press proof, uh, you know, if you're a fan of the Packers or the, uh, yeah, or the Raiders or the Jets, I don't think there's many Jets fans out there. But anyway, let me know. And you can do that by Follow me on one of these little goofy things and you'd reach out to me. Hey, dude, I would love to have your Adrian Amos Green Bay Packers press proof card. Well, guess what, dude? 
I'm gonna plain white envelope that turd right to your inbox. That's right. So thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. Come back Wednesday. I don't know what I'm ripping, but I'm gonna rip open something, all right? Take care, I will see you then.